What's up, YouTube? I'm Nate, and today we're breaking down 2021 Mosaic Football. Welcome to the channel. And thanks for joining me today as we discuss 2021 Mosaic Football. In just its second year of print, Mosaic Football has grown into one of the most popular sets for Panini. All right, as I open the packs, I want to share with you some additional information about this set. Although I'm only opening the Blaster and the Cellos, I do want to talk about the other retail options as well as the hobby formats. So the set is made up of 400 cards, consisting of 200 base vets, 100 base rookie cards. You'll also want to look out for the 20 NFL debut rookie cards, as well as the AFC and NFC variations. These are veterans only. Now there's also variations for rookies, and that is a 50 card set. Mosaic boasts one of the largest insert lineups of the year. Some of the more common inserts you'll see will be the Hollow Fame, Stairmasters, NFL Man of the Year, and Got Game. And just so you know, the Blaster and the two cellos were purchased at retail through Walmart. The cellos will come with two packs, one of which will have three pink camo mosaic parallels. The other will have 12 cards, one of which will be a mosaic parallel. Blasters will come with 32 cards, four cards per pack, eight packs per box. The exclusive for this blaster will be a mosaic orange fluorescent parallel. Also for retail, we have a mega box and a hanger box. Although very unlikely, all of these formats could possibly yield an autograph, vet scripts and rookie scripts. The big hits everyone's looking for, the super short print Genesis and Honeycomb. Now, as far as the hobby formats, the standard hobby boxes should contain a pair of autographs along with five silver parallels and 15 mosaic parallels and 20 inserts. The hobby choice boxes will be available as well. It is so choice. If you have the means, I highly recommend picking one up. Thank you. Yes, sir. Mint. These will contain one autograph and five exclusive parallels. Potential parallels consist of Peacock, Black Gold, and Nebula. The first off the line hobby box will have two autos and two exclusive parallels. Look for the pink swirl and the green swirl. Majority of the number parallels will come from your hobby boxes, including the one of one mosaic black. Here are some parallels and inserts that you can only get through hobby. According to Panini, who's for some reason decided to put hobby inserts and parallels in retail products. So in summary, the cards look and feel great. I absolutely love the design. It's a breath of fresh air to see a card that isn't covered with a giant border. I'm not sure what is going on with Panini cards this year, but everything has a bulky border stamped on it. Not a fan. And as for the autos, the auto checklists are slam packed full of average talent from the 90s all the way up until today. If you hit an auto, you want it to be from the rookie scripts. That's your best chance to get someone decent. Seriously, there are multiple checklists for autos and they're all boring. boring. The rookie base auto checklist is too big. A hundred base rookie cards, that's entirely too many cards. 
No one wants an auto of a defensive lineman or an offensive lineman for that matter. I would rather have more non-autographed numbered parallels and inserts in this set than have all these watered down autographs with players who are no longer on active NFL rosters. If you're doing it, stop it. Get some help. Leave the practice team players off the checklist and give me more numbered cards. I'd like to thank you for hanging around and watching the video. Hopefully it was informative. My apologies on not pulling something good. And please, tap the like button. Tap it in. Give it a little tappy. Tap, tap, tap a -roo. Subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below. All advice is welcome. See you later.